Uh, my name is Benjamin Marble. The question that came in that uh, we wanted to address is uh, what about telehealth, and especially with what, what's going on with uh, COVID and, and the, the global pandemic related to the, the, novel, the novel coronavirus. We want to make sure absolutely that our patients have access to us. Um, as it is, as it stands currently, we have been deemed a necessary or an essential service and so we have been staying open and that is to take pressure off emergency rooms and, and everything but we certainly understand as well despite all of the precautions that we take wiping down surfaces and, and things like that uh, using masks and, and, and everything that uh, our older patients may want to still just give it a break and just stay at home. Well, there's some some issues that, that arise with that, and especially with our patients that have peripheral vascular disease, diabetes, issues with not just circulation, but also neuropathy or feeling in their feet. Uh, it makes it even more important for them to be seen regularly uh, by a podiatrist, uh, a foot specialist, because what can happen is calluses can build up, um, nails can, can grow and, and get long and thick and start rubbing on other toes. Um, all, and these calluses get so thick they act like a rock in their shoe, you get bleeding underneath there. There could be a ulceration that's forming associated with all of those things. And so uh, if you have a hard time bending down to, because of your back as well, you know, it's a very important that we have an eye on what's going on on your feet. And so. Uh, that's why we have incorporated telehealth at Pueblo Anklin Foot Care. And it's a fairly, it is not fairly, it's very, it's a very easy process. Uh, I just know that a lot of our older patients um, may have a phobia of technology, may have a fear of, of getting on to, and they, you have to have a phone absolutely with video and audio capability, either a phone or a laptop, uh, an iPad, something that we can use to um, be able to have get a good picture of the feet and then what happens when we are able to see your foot and even new patients if if this is the first time that you're seeing us and you have something concerning on your foot we also do telemedicine for new patients so but the moment that we're able to take a look at your foot and see what's happening in real time with the structure of your foot as you're moving your foot uh, putting pressure on your foot in a certain way uh, then what we can pick up on is the subtleties of redness, swelling. Uh, we can also see if there's any drainage coming from an area. Um, you can also describe to us uh, if you're having any symptoms like fevers, chills, nausea, vomiting, if it feels warm or if you're having pain. Um, even though we're not getting our hands necessarily on there, we may be able to make a recommendation like get to the emergency room right now. And if that is really what needs to happen, that may take um, days off of you being at your home and that infection just getting worse and worse and we may even be able to save your foot and so um, even if it's minor things things like plantar fasciitis or if there's you know skin issues that are like cracked and fissured heels um, anything happening with your nails then we at least we can get our eyes on on it and we can make recommendations verbally as to what uh, you can do until you're able to meet with us in person. And so please, please, please don't be afraid of telemedicine. Uh, we'd absolutely recommend that you meet with either one of us or uh, a, a provider close to where you're at if you're more comfortable with that. But I would tell you that most uh, medical practitioners nowadays are doing telemedicine at some level. So uh, there's that recommendation and I uh, hope to see you soon.